Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be so exciting because I'm going to be unboxing and using the ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire collection. Yay! Oh my god, you guys, when I saw this on the ColourPop website, I immediately knew that I had to do a video and that I had to buy all the products because growing up Lizzie McGuire was one of my favorite things to watch I remember watching all the episodes and always just you know thinking like that I was Lizzie McGuire and actually nowadays I'm like I'm more like Miranda but that's besides the point um so I hope I give you guys a little bit of the 90s vibes and let's get right into this collection so I'm gonna start by showing you guys the products as I as I am using them and um, for things that are a little bit smaller I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys close-ups so that you guys can go ahead and see you know what everything is all about the first product I'm gonna show you guys is the lippy scrub which is right here and I'm going to go ahead and also put it in the screen so you guys can see the packaging up close because honestly, ColourPop killed it when it came to packaging. It was so freaking pretty. And the lip scrub is called Bubblegum Pop. And it has her signature little cartoon character. And I just thought it was so pretty. This is the compartment which the scrub comes in and it is perfectly sealed and everything i just thought it was so cute and i i had to get it i've never tried um lip scrubs from ColourPop, so this is gonna be my first time trying them with you guys um so let's go ahead and see how it works right so of course i'm gonna be stingy and i'm gonna use the one from the top so i'm just gonna scoop it in with my little lip scrubber oh it's smooth They say on the website that the lip scrub is edible for, I mean, for whoever wants to eat it, you know. But um, it does really smell. I'm kind of trying to taste it, but not a lot. It does smell a lot like bubble gum, and it does have a really smooth scent. I feel like it's a very nice lip scrub. Um, I've tried a lot of lip scrubs before, and sometimes lip scrubs can be really dry and kind of like flaky and they break apart when you're trying to like scrub your lips but i feel like for these that's not the case i feel like these are really nicely i'm gonna go ahead and clean it off with a little uh reusable pad just because i don't want to eat it i've already said this but i'm also going to be leaving the prices in the screen for you guys um i do believe that the whole like if you were to buy the pr collection i think it is sold out unfortunately but i think that they do still have some pieces on the website if you guys want to go ahead and pick them up i definitely do suggest that you pick up the scrub moving on let's go on to the eyes i already did the rest of my makeup for you know time purposes but this is what the palette looks like and this is the lizzie mcguire pressed powder palette i love love the palette it is so pretty and this palette is called what dreams are made of and i love how they just kept all the integrity of the show within the palette the shades are just to die for like the names i just I had to pick it up. This palette is super cute. Let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of the palette. This is what the actual palette looks like. And it looks very similar to the compartment, which is something that I like. You know, there's a lot of people that don't care about that. But I personally like when the compartment and the palette look the same. Obviously, it has the, this is what dreams are made of. And it has a little Lizzie McGuire little cartoon character here. And as you open the palette, I'm going to go ahead and put the card in on the backboard so that you guys don't get blinded from the light. But this is what the palette looks like. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know what it looks like because it's all over social media. And I can't really decide what I want to do for the look, but I'm going to try to be as creative as I can. 
and as innovative as I can because I know sometimes my looks are very repetitive. So I do definitely want to use a lot of the shades today so I can give you guys a lot of variety. Unfortunately, I'm wearing this tangerine little earrings, but don't worry. I'm going to still keep it cute. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my lids using a creamy base. And I also use a little bit of these um, shadow guards from e.l.f. Just to kind of make my shadows look a little bit more symmetrical. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go in with the first shade. And I love how all the shades have the signature name on the front. And they also have it on the back. Like sometimes palettes just have it in one place. And I tend to not like that because... If they're on the back and then I lose the packaging, then I don't know what the shades are. And I love that they went ahead and put all the names, you know, where the, what the shadows are called. They put it right there. So it's really nice, quick, and easy. So like I said, I'm going to try to use as many shades as I can just so I can give you guys a very nice, you know, innovative kind of look. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also put the shadows here in a little close-up so you guys can see what I'm talking about as I'm going. And I'm going to go in first with the shade. Oh, I think that's the shade. Oh. <laughs> it's a pink kind of shade. You guys will see it in the screen. And I'm going to apply that all over my crease. I just dipped it once and I quickly want to show you guys it doesn't have a lot of kickback. I use this shade right here. It does have a little bit of kickback, but not as much. Um, it doesn't bother me as long as the shade is pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it all over into the inner corner. Right here. And I'm just going to smoke it out. To intensify the crease a little bit more, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. And I'm going to take the shade Digital Bean, which is a purple. It looks like this. And I'm going to apply it right on that fold where the crease kind of folds my eye. Right there. I'm just going to place that right there. And I'm going to blend as I go and just keep reapplying. That's what the shade is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to a, uh, just to apply a little bit more and blend them together. So that's what the eye is looking like so far. With an angled brush, I'm gonna go in and take the shade Don't Freak, which is like a lime green. And I'm gonna apply that as my liner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply Dear Diary, lime green kind of shimmery shade. Go ahead and clean my crease a little bit. Well, kind of like the center of my lid. I feel like I kind of went for like a halo look. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. And then I'm gonna apply another shade so I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and sorry for this I need to get really close and I'm just going to clean this area right here okay and then I'm going to apply the shade bye bye I do feel like with a brush I feel like the creamy shades are turning a little bit powdery I don't know if that's normal for like Colourpop um, it doesn't bother me because they still work, but like I do notice that and I do want to mention 
that to you guys just in case you are unexperienced with a color pop like me I'm gonna go ahead and reapply the green shade just to intensify it a little and a liquid liner this one's from Milani I just want the green shade to really pop so I'm gonna take this green liner just to intensify it and I'm gonna apply it so I don't know if you guys can see kind of like what I did I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye and I'll be right back okay guys so I'm already done with my eyes doing my top eyes I really like the way the shadows worked and the way it looks um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line with you guys um, and I'm gonna start with the shade outfit repeater oh you know what I'm gonna go in with so mature in with outfit repeater and for the inner corner I want to go in with um, police or I don't know if I should go in with outfit remember I think police is gonna look way better so I'm gonna go in with police so this is what the eyes are looking like. So far, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades out of the 12, which, I mean, it's a lot for a palette, you know? But I really liked all the shades, so I had all, totally forgotten that this has like a glitter, which I'm also gonna use, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of gems all over my eyes. So I'm gonna just do a little fast forward so you guys can see that part. god you guys i just dropped all the gems all over me <laughs> oh, it's okay i still have some here where i can work with okay so aside of me getting all full of gems this is what it looks like with the little gems it's just a little extra flair for kind of like for the fun of the look um you don't have to do that if you are obviously trying to use this palette for like going somewhere not that we can go somewhere, right? But so moving on, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the glitters. The collection had two glitters. One of them is called Get a Grip, which is this one. And then she also has Sing to Me Pablo. Paolo. Paolo. Sorry. Sing to Me Paolo. So um, let's see what they look like. So the packaging as well is pink, just like the scrub. And this is the pink one, which is Get a Grip. So pretty. And then Sing To Me Polo is this iridescent, which I don't know which one I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use the iridescent just because the gems are already pink. Maybe I can use a little bit of the pink one, like around my temples and stuff. So just it could look a little bit, you know, flared out and stuff. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to take the glitter with a little bit of an angled brush so pretty of course you don't have to add the glitter either I'm just kind of using it so I can show you guys what it looks like I think it looks really nice honestly okay so now I'm going to take a get a grip on it and I'm going to apply that on my temple want to show you guys are the two blushes this one is in you are Mar magnifico and this one is in delish so let's see what they look like so this one is you are magnifico which is a beautiful shade i love the print that it has like the press and it has glitter i'm gonna have so much glitter on me today after this look but it is okay Look at that shade, I think it just looks so pretty. 
and this one is delish this looks like this i think i'm gonna use delish just because i feel like it's already a lot going on in my face so let's apply oh a little bit of blush I think this blush would look really nice because it's kind of like a luminous brush. This is the packaging on the front. I think it would look really nice if I didn't have this glitter that I applied. I don't think the glitter was a good idea, but you know, I was trying to try everything. I think these blushes are going to look so nice just by themselves because they are very pigmented and they're very buttery and smooth to the application. Like they just go on so nice and they're just so beautiful so last but not least guys the last products for this collection is the lip glosses so i actually got both duos this one is called dear diary and seriously cool this duo comes with lizzie and miranda and this one comes with ethan craft and gordo which i thought it was so cute honestly for more than i want to use miranda i'm obviously going to swatch all the shades so you guys can see but i honestly want to rock gordo just because i love gordo like he's such a vibe but the first shade is gonna be um lizzie this is what she looks like it is a clear so this is lizzie obviously keep in mind that i do have like a little bit more pigmentation on my lips my lips are not like super rosy but i feel like if you have like rosy lips this is gonna look so pretty on you it is gonna be miranda which is this pink okay so miranda they're kind of they do have kind of like a plumping effect i hadn't noticed that um they do feel minty they're both i don't know if it's gordo and yeah, they're all plumping, but Miranda just, since it has a little bit of tinge of color, I feel like it makes my lips look a little bit cool. Like, I don't know, like it gives me like little pink vibes. Like, I don't know. I like it. Next shade is going to be Ethan. I applied a little bit of like foundation and it gave me kind of like a light wash on my lips, which I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of like it, honestly. And then it, this one's kind of like a corally. So I feel like it's making me, I don't know. My lips feel really nice right now. So the last shade is going to be Gordo, which I think is going to be the shade I'm going to stay with. Let me just fix my foundation a little bit because it's starting to like fall off. I just knew Gordo was going to be my shade, didn't I? I called it out. I called it out. Gordo is definitely my shade. I love this shade. It just makes my lips look pretty. Like, my natural color, but pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Or let me know in the comments if you guys picked up anything from the collection. This is Gordo. So that is everything, you guys, for the Lizzie McGuire collection. I cannot even believe that this is like a dream come true. This is literally what dreams are made of. I was so excited. Let me know in the comments if you guys got anything from the collection. If you guys were as excited as me. Are you living your little childhood fantasy right now? I feel like if, you know, when I was watching Lizzie McGuire when I was little and I would fast forward it to now, I feel like I would feel back then pretty ridiculous to be 30 and be <laughs> buying these things but honestly they're so cute i just couldn't pass so let me know in the comments if you guys got anything what was your favorite product from the collection if you did get if you did get anything from the collection what did you guys love the most what product did you not like did you hate anything i'm just interested and in, did you like did you guys like the look i created i tried to be I try to be, I try to think a little bit outside the box. I know that sometimes I could get 
pretty repetitive and yeah let me know in the comments if you guys liked it and until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye guys